Iran has officially announced its intentions to purchase Russian fighter jets. Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force Iri of Commander Brigadier General Hamid Behedi has officially announced that Iran will purchase 24 Su-35 fighter jets from Russia. This is what the Turkish online portal Samyanasinais.com writes in its Sunday edition. According to Turkish sources, Iran is ready to buy the 24 Sukhoi Su-35 flanker fighter jets that Egypt ordered from Russia, but Russia did not deliver. It is believed that after this purchase, Iran will make a second one for another 36 units of the Russian flagship. The Turkish publication Samyanasinais.com claims that after the purchase of the first 24 fighters, Tehran and Moscow may sit down at the negotiating table for the production of the 36 fighters in Iran. The Turkish source claimed that 30 Iranian pilots are already in Russia and are expected to undergo training. Why the Egyptian Su-35? Egypt ordered 24 Sukhoi Su-35 flanker fighter jets at the beginning of 2019, in March. The planes have already been produced but are still sitting in the Sukhoi hangars. There are two main versions why Egypt does not receive them. One version is a technical malfunction that prevented Egypt from fulfilling the contract. This version is unlikely, since technical faults have always existed in every single production, and they are fixed, even if the delivery period is extended. The second version is Egypt's refusal to pay for the delivery of the 24 fighters. Such a refusal may have been dictated by Cairo's fear of Washington not imposing severe economic sanctions under the Katsa law. Despite these claims, it is not yet known whether Egypt actually cancelled the order. But the Turkish source claims that Iran wants to buy exactly these 24 Su-35 units. Iran has problems in terms of establishing air superiority. Currently, the IRIA flies MiG-29A, MiG-21, F-14A, and F-5 purchased many years ago. Because of the UN embargo, Tehran could not access modern technologies in aerospace engineering for decades. It was forced with its own resources and a technological disadvantage to trying to modernize its combat aircraft. In 2020, the UN embargo against Iran fell. Back then, BulgarianMilitary.com wrote that there are two areas of defense that Iran will try to strengthen modern fighters and air defense systems. Thus came January 2022, when an agreement was signed between Iran and Russia on defense and security cooperation. This agreement includes not only the modernization of the existing fighter jets of the IRIF, but also the purchase of two S-400 air defense batteries and 24 Su-35 fighters. The deal is said to be worth close to $10 billion. Turkish sources claim that Tehran has already built a hangar for the modernization activities of the MiG-29 and Su-24 aircraft. According to some claims, Iran's MiG-29A fighter jets are planned to be upgraded to the MiG-29 SMT level. On August 2, an open-source intelligence Twitter account cited unofficial sources, claiming that Iran has sent the first batch of UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, to Russia for field testing. Also Iranian pilots and technicians sent to Russia for training on Su-35, the tweet added. While it could not independently verify this claim, the Institute for the Study of War (ISW) think tank noted it is consistent with recent reports that Tehran and Moscow are pursuing greater aviation cooperation in order to circumvent international sanctions on Russia and Iran and support Russian operations in Ukraine. If true, this claim suggests that Iran may be receiving Russian Su-35 aircraft in return for the drones which could have been part of an agreement signed by Moscow and Tehran on July 26, ISW added. Tehran may seek to use this agreement to facilitate the acquisition of Russian combat aircraft, it concluded. In mid-July, the White House said that Russian officials visited the Kashin airfield in central Iran to view Tehran's locally developed Shad-129 and Shad-191 armed drones. 
The White House claims that Russia is procuring hundreds of Iranian-built drones. In December 2021, it was also claimed that Russia and Iran would sign a 20-year $10 billion defense agreement in January 2022. Russia would supply Iran with two dozen Su-35s and S-400 air defense missile systems as part of that deal. Of course, nothing has been heard about this purportedly impending agreement since. One should also be skeptical about this latest claim. Still, such a swap would make a lot of sense. Iran is proficient in building armed drones but hasn't acquired any new fighter jets since the early 1990s. On the other hand, Russia built some relatively advanced fighter jets, later model Sukhwa such as the Su-35 and the Su-34 fullback fighter strike aircraft, but was relatively late to prioritize its own drone development.